I'm Peter Finch and I'm a scratch golfer. Can I break 80 at this insanely tough golf course? Now I'm in trouble. Go on. Go! On. Go! On. Go! <laughs> just don't quite understand. Just don't understand what's happened here. Hey everybody, welcome down to a beautiful Finca Courtesan here in Spain. I'm not gonna lie, we went around yesterday filming some video, and I think this might be one of the most imposing, difficult, just like confidence shatteringly tough looking courses I've ever seen. It is so dramatic, it is so beautiful, and to be honest with you, if I manage to break 80 round here, I am gonna be absolutely delighted. As soon as you go outside the semi-rough, ball's gone. How many balls did we lose yesterday? And we're not, we're not being over dramatic here, I reckon we lost eight balls yesterday. So, off the backs here, we are 6,802 meters, which calculated into yards is a long way. And this is basically what this course is all about. We have ravines, we have trees, we have so much water. So from over here to down to that green, that's gonna be the first tee in the Solheim Cup. That's our fourth hole today. That is an absolute beauty. I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. Honestly, this, this course, it, it's so hard, especially off these back tees. But here's what I'm gonna do. If I do manage to shoot under 80, I'm gonna add something into the Christmas giveaway. So to help unlock that, wallop the like button, be a subscriber to the channel. The guys here as well, we've got Jacob and we've got Kieran moving around the corner. They actually both think I can break 80. So, it, yeah. Yeah. so to reward you for your loyalty, we've got a nice Japanese restaurant here. Pretty much a Michelin star. So if I do break 80, we'll take you out to that tonight. Sound like a plan? Perfect. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I really want to go there as well. But. Right, first hole is a 400 meter par four. Bunkers down the left, bunkers down the right, out of bounds left, out of bounds right, into wind. Good luck guys, play well. I'm just aiming at that last bunker on the left. Just a slight peel, there is a bit of room to the right that you can't see. about that. I would say that that was so oh, dog in the bunker. I'd say that was an overly aggressive club twirl for the fact I towed the living hell out of it. But it's a start. We've not lost the ball. We lost two balls on here yesterday. Two balls. One of them was the second shot. <laughs> oh, we got a rainbow. We got a rainbow. Oh, wow. Woo! Oh, that's probably not a good sign though, is it? Yeah. So the pin is like behind the left edge of this tree. So I'm just going to aim. It's quite a bit. Of, the bailout is right. Massive bunkers left. So I think just go straight at it. And if it does cut a bit, that's my bailout. Hopefully this isn't too much of a flyer. Pulled it. Caught. Oh, we're all right. Flew it over the bunker and it's just on like the left edge of the green. How many bunkers are there here? 120 bunkers. First hole, successfully navigated them all. <laughs> green in regulation. Wow. It's a bit of background noise. It's got the green keepers out and they're building some more luxury villas up here. These greens are so fast. Pace control is going to be so important. We'll put that down to being an early morning, yeah? Won't we? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Well. That's the uh, first three foot of the day. Love it. Okay. 210 yards into wind. Massive bunker front left, bunker back left, bunker back right. Again, bailout here is 
like a little short right. Just every hole you look on, it's just like imposing. Like I wouldn't want to play here if I had a case of the tops. That would make this course a little bit more difficult. Right, come on, straight at it. Let's go. Oh, so short. That's just like, it's practically a layup. Man, look at that, look at the strike on that. Look at that. Come on, come, come cast your eyes on this feat of pure ball striking. Struck that about there. I need, I need your positivity, guys. Get into those comments. Tell me what a wonderful person I am. Like, no matter what happens, you know, it's, just, it's not important. It's not important. As long as you've got friends, family, they're in good health. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Uh, well, we're a good 15 yards short here, chipping back into the breeze right to left one good thing about these greens and these lies that you can get quite a lot of grip on chips but the greens are just so fast if you're not precise they're just running away from you so i'm going to pitch this about five foot right of the pin a bit of check draw it to a stop i drew it to a stop all right uh, i mean listen guys the japanese restaurant it's not like it's not all that, like, yeah, I reckon we could just go out and get some Rice Krispies, bit of milk, be fine. Bit of sugar to spread on top for a treat, you know. So we're in November now, almost December, and this is what the greens are like. In the summer, they must be, I don't know how they could get better than this, though. Unless they're just, like, perfect all year round, I don't know, but these are just absolutely unreal. They're so pure, like, there's nothing to actually pick a spot to hit over. Is that the most first word golf problem you've ever heard in your life, by the way? <laughs> There's always, these are the type of greens that have like an extra four foot of roll when you think they're stopped. You can't look away, you gotta like keep your eye on them. But on those short ones, the advantage is because they're so pure, if you give them a good whack, like they're not gonna break off too much. Easy said than done though on greens running about 44 on the stimp. By the way, that absolute elite flag game. I do love a standalone tree. I don't think. Uh, wonderful. Third hole here, 550 yards, but a little bit downwind, new shaft in the driver. Now, I hit this driver 380 in the sim the other day. That doesn't mean anything out here, does it? But <laughs> don't want to hit this left water there, so aiming at the back right bunker and just just steamrolling it, two, off, two over after two. We need to get a birdie. That's hammered, absolutely hammered. There's more room off to the right there, but might just be bringing that bunker into play. Be okay, I think it'll be okay. So actually on the edge of the fairway here, you can't see the tee, you see how it's all blocked out by the bushes. Look at that mountain backdrop, by the way, that is, dramatic and i've only got 200 left in it's just a 350 yard drive at eight o'clock in the morning two over well done but we're downwind here i think it's seven iron 200 yeah. yards downwind nice and warm the bail out here there's a bunker to the right uh, there's water to the left so we obviously don't want to go there so i'm just going to aim at that bunker if it comes round a bit that's fine ball's above my feet so I absolutely struck it, but a very safe play. I didn't want anything to do uh, with the water on the, on the left-hand side. Understandable. Look at this. Okay, so with these, you just got to start off with a wee bit of a shake. So you've got to activate the sand, and then you've just got to do it this way. So don't pour it in directly. Base, I give you a perfectly filled dibber. The most important thing, though, I think, on like core strategy is that you leave yourself in the right places. So I have a flop shot from a tight lie over a bunker with water behind and the pin tight to the right hand side. Ah, golf, isn't it great? Oh my God, this is gonna have to be so precise. 
I mean, the advantage is over the first two holes, though, we've not lost any balls, have we? I feel like when we film these things, though, I always weirdly feel like you're going to do this really well. Like, if you, like, a stock seven iron into, like, a green, I feel like you might pull it or tug it, but, like... But, but here, you think I'm all right, right. Let me dissuade you that notion. <laughs> it proves me right. It proves me right. I'd like you to prove me right. Oh, yeah, so would I. All right, come on. Commit. Don't be soft on it, because you'll get spin. Open up the face slightly. Grip level with the bell buckle. Slide it underneath. Sit. Sit. Are you all right? Yeah, it's all right. He why don't he say anything? Why don't you say anything? Did you not see it? No! I thought I was going in the water. Oh, well, I'm getting angry at Kieran for my bad shot. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kieran. It looked like he went in the water somewhere. Right? right. Oh, I didn't know that you could see it. No, no, I couldn't. No, I couldn't like you couldn't see it. Yeah, sorry. I couldn't see it yeah. Oh, twenty foot for birdie. I need to settle down a little bit. Yeah, you need. Yeah. I need to settle down. I need to remember, I'm an okay golfer. Massive left to right swing on this one. It's going to be downhill at the end as well. So pace, pace is key. Yeah. Turn in. It's okay, got it to the hole. Have a putt for a par. Ah, what a morning. Right, so on these short ones, just be confident, not outside the hole. Right, inside right. Says it all, doesn't it, really? Mr. Duck says it all. Seven iron into a par five, and you're walking away with the bogey. Three over after three. Right. We'll have a regroup on the next tee. Let's have a chat. <laughs> it's 200 and, well, it's quite a long way off here, actually. Basically, shot scoped it, and it's 280 yards adjusted. Carrying over water, loads of danger, winds kind of into off the right. Uh, Can't go for any. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. 280, my line is those back bunkers. And if it comes round a bit, then cool. Come on. I pulled it. Fly. Oh, back left of the green, you got it. Yeah. Come on. I think this is gonna be such an amazing hole, like the first hole of a Solheim Cup because it's such a risk-reward hole. Like, it's the epitome of a risk-reward hole. My new low-spin driver, Kieran. Yeah. Get a bit of stop on it, you know what I mean? Oh, right. We did have a bit of a mess around on this green yesterday, and we know it's fast down here. Yeah. So I know it's fast. Huge left to right. Basically gonna have to get it around this pitch mark, dripping down the hill. So for once, I don't want to get off the bogey train with the par. We don't want to par this hole. We definitely don't want to bogey it. Crikey. All right, so down this slope. Come on, just trust your touch. You're a good putter. Just couldn't commit to getting it that far left. The very best thing about greens like this is you know five, six foot out if it's going in. Worst thing is you know about a foot after it's left your putter if it's missing or not. And that was missing all the way. But, dramatic music. We have a chance for a birdie. It's up the hill. It's pretty straight. Come on, get in. We're off, we are off. Not be marking me scorecard. Uh, right, so we've gone five. Four. Six. Three. Right, that's got us back on the right track. What's the next one, par? Par 72. So seven over is the max I can be. Come on, par five. Come on, T. Well, we have a near on 600 yard par five into wind but 
The second shot is downhill. The line is that bunker on the left with like a tiny fade. And if it gets a shoot, you can actually get a bit of a down slope, but might be a little bit out of range today. We'll see. It's a beautiful temperature, by the way. Yeah, Top, yeah. Top's gonna have to come off in a sec. All right, that bunker, let it fade. Oh my God, I've munched that. Fly ball, go on. That's down the hill. Uh, now, I've not tried to hit a driver off the deck with this shaft and this club. It's 270, like into wind off the left. Listen, driver's not letting me down so far today. And even though we are trying to break 80, even though we're trying to play properly, this is still YouTube. Never forget where you're from. Never forget your roots. Aiming left of the green. If it cuts, it cuts. Let's see what this driver's like off the deck. Oh my God. Chase, 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 be good. Go on, go on. Stay. <laughs> Never ever doubt driver off the deck. Never doubt it. I say it again. It's like it's literally the best shot in my bag. The most consistent shot in my bag is driver off the deck. How can I hit the most? How can I hit consistently the most difficult shot in golf, and then do that crap that we saw in the first two holes? Oh, oh, that must look pretty good on camera as well. That. So, so <laughs> you caught you call us a lead YouTube over then. Oh, what does it look like with the hills in the background? Oh, a little low on. This is what actually it's all about. Yeah, I'll leave it in, yeah. I'm no, just short the green. I think it's a putt. There's no point chipping it for me, really. Yeah, I'm just, I'm still a bit like so so this morning. So, just gonna hit this just outside the right. Come on, let's walk off with an eagle, shall we? My green reading is awful. Like truly, truly smelly. Absolute stinky. All right. Inside right. Oh. Bogey, 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 birdie, birdie. This is going to be the no par vlog, this. Breaking 80 with no pars. <laughs> if you're watching this, and that's the title. <laughs> you know, I don't think really there's a hole on this course that doesn't have some kind of like dramatic setting, some dramatic backdrop. I mean, that's just like unreal. Like, just every vista is just incredible. So I'm gonna hit a little seven wood here because I'm into wind. It's about 210 to the pin. I just don't want to be short here. So there's bunkers short right. As long as I'm after them, that's fine. Big greenness. So I'm gonna aim this uh, pretty much at the pin. And then if it cuts, then that's fine. Grip down on this seven wood. Wind's quite strong, isn't it? Be good. I'll get off it, wind. Well, that'll do. I don't want to brag. Well, I do. But that was like exactly what I said I was trying to do then. Should do this more often. Talk through, like, I say this all the time, like, just talk through the shots. Oh, what a dream. If anybody's got about 4.2 million euros they can give us. That'd be great. <laughs> <You'd> be <laughs> if somebody wants to give me 4.2 million euros, you can come around and use my pool whenever you want. <laughs> That's a promise. This is so nice. It's tough, but I think it's fair. It's also got all the ingredients and the setup to be like really dramatic. Well, it's got drivable holes, like par fives, really tough par threes, beautiful views. Right, right to left, kind of down the slope. I think I'm just getting the grip of some of these, some of these slopes a touch more. Three birdies on the bounce, how good would that be? It's got a chance, you know. Oh, three in a row! Here we go! <laughs> We are having no pars today. We are having no pars. 
We're going big or we're going home. Three in a row. <laughs> Come on. So wind here is hard into. We have an, oh, I'm that guy. Seventh hole, almost 500 yards, straight back into the wind. It's fairly wide fairway though. Lines at that bunker on the left are just like fade. No pars. No pars. We want another birdie. Oh, sh sit down. <sighs> that is a lost ball, ladies and gentlemen. That is a lost ball. <laughs> oh, it was just starting to go so well. <laughs> just starting to go so well. Oh, that is so far offline. Miss the bunker, and we're in it. I can almost guarantee we're not going to get a par. So far, the title holds true. Oh, just have a shout. Ball has been found. Um, it was just a massive like pull off that tee. It must have been a bush and stopped it because it's like it's on the car path just to the right hand side of it which is a little bit unusual but it is a long way back from that tee shot so i don't know if it's landed on here and then gone all the way back down it's on quite a slope hmm. so the thing is i can't really can't really drop it anywhere well my two like 230 away so it now comes down to which of these clubs do i like the least it, i mean if i top it or i thin it then um yeah, I'm like really dead because then I'll have to drop it here again. Um, do you want to know the good things or the bad things? Good thing is like the direction, you see that tree there, like the tallest one? The green is basically just to the right of that. So it's there with a the fade. Even the sound of that is horrendous. Are we ready? Let's go for it. It's just a shot. It's just a shot. It's just a normal shot. Now I'm in trouble. We're in here. It flew straight in here. I'll tell you what, I definitely wimped out of that a lot. There's not really many marks on the bottom of that seven wood. So, now it's a place. <laughs> right. See if I can balance it on top of a stone somewhere. Right, I'm gonna sacrifice a nine iron just down there. The fairway's just there, really, isn't it? Come on, just pick it clean. Don't be a wimp. Come on. That'll do. Wow, wind, yeah, look at that. So that should just be on like the left rough, right uh, left fairway. Wow, right, well, golf's a tough game. Oh, it's, a, it's worth the sacrifice. It's worth the sacrifice. Oh, 135, a little control chippy eight. I just saw all my other clubs like put an arm around the 99 when it went back into the bag. It's <laughs> all right. <laughs> You'll be okay. This, this game's just taking another another turn here, isn't it? Right. I'm going to start this eight iron at the uh, kind of electric pole just to the left of the green there. Low, just let it drift. Just finishing 10 foot left of the flag, roll it in for a double. Happy days. Get off it, wind. Stay, stay. Stop moving. Like this actually feels like it'd be a nice little chip and run shot, but as soon as you chip it into this, it's just gonna like bobble up. So you're gonna have to use the lob wedge. Float it up. It's gonna stop quite quick into the wind up the hill. I might be quite aggressive with this. I fancy hole in this. Wow, that stopped so fast. Oh, I didn't land that a million miles away from where I wanted to. I was going to say, I can finally give it a clean now. It's a poor ball. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, no wonder it's not quite flying how we wanted to. Check this out. Look at that. You can literally see the inner core of the golf ball. I think by the rules, you can actually change this, but we're, we're going to play the rest of the hole through. Up the hill. Just inside the left. Wow. I'm literally going to need both hands here. One, two, 
drop three, four, five, six, seven. How have I just got back to three over? How has that just happened? Three over to level to three over. Fantastic. Right, 560 yards here, par five. There's no shorties, but I'm only using the seven wood because it's a massive dog leg around to the right hand side. There's a ravine to the left, big dog leg to the right. So I'm only gonna need a seven wood just to reach the corner and then probably maybe another seven wood into the green because it's gonna be downwind. So that lone tree in the background, just to the right of that. I'll do. Bang on. Yeah, that was decent, that wasn't it? I'm 300 yards away still to the pin. Uh, and it's uphill, but to the good 30 mile an hour wind down. I would say my line is those two white colored trees on the right. It's gonna pitch short and it's all gonna fall in to the left hand side. You just don't wanna miss left. There's dragons over there. So yeah, that side, three wood. Come on, let's birdie another par five here. Don't need to draw it. Just hit it straight, right there. Let's get lucky. I just can't get it together here. Come on, send me some positivity, send me some love. And you, I want some... Can I have some positive stuff for you guys as well? I was backing you, you up. You've, you've kept so quiet today. Like even, if, even if you're just chirping at me, even if it's giving me some grief, just something, you know what I mean? Just something to spare me on. Now, this has only happened to me, I think, once before, and I was playing a Lynx course, and it was like a big gorse bush. But the ball is suspended about, what, like, 18 inches above the ground yeah. and it's like cool it's like the, the bush has caught it like perfectly um i don't know i've no idea I'm, I'm literally gonna have to try and just i've got my lob wedge i'm gonna hit it i'm gonna try and move it my only hope is that this is no there's no hope there's just, yeah. <laughs> there's just no there's, there, there's no hope just hit it. i've got nothing um all right Oh no, sit down, sit, sit. That's come out yeah, I told you, catch it It's come out unreal. That's run, that's run through the fairway on the other side. And he wandered through the undergrowth, aware that everywhere red Spanish adders were in mating season. Just gotta get this to the front of the green, get it rolling on. A little bit right to left. Oh, be good. So that's the kind of lie, which is it simultaneously sat down and sat up. So I think it's almost like you got to play almost like a bit of a bunker shot. Bunker shot yeah. Splash it out. So I into wind, so it should stop it as such. Oh man, this is not a shot I'm used to playing. Um, Really, asshole. I knew, oh I knew that slope was there, though. Oh, wow. Well, um... I that right. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we were just talking about using that slope. Like that, it's a bit of a slope, but, yeah, but it's like it shows how quick they are. It's... Clean more gunk off my golf ball. At least I've not got a massive hole in this one. Right to left again. Got to be, can't be too aggressive with this one though. Good part. Wow, best bogey ever. Four over. <laughs> Bloody hell. What a round so far. Some of the... Okay. You're still not at a par. Still not at a par. <laughs> well, we've been close to having a par. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that.
Yeah, no, no, I do, I do. I just thought, yeah, I need a bit more. Um, Can we go for like a good cop, bad cop? Yeah, you can't be a bad cop. Uh, okay. imagine, imagine Kieran trying to be a bad cop. I feel that. Bad shot. <laughs> <laughs> you, ooh, oh, you bad shot. Right, 322 metres. I got close to your screen yesterday after yellows. Just got to launch it. There's that middle bunker in the fairway. I can clear that. So I'm just going at that and just trying to absolutely annihilate one. I think that's either in the bunker or sure. If I've cleared that bunker, then fair play. It's the oh, biggest push of my life, but that's a, it's pushed it and it is a bit downwind, but we're talking about a 370 yard drive, that. That's that co combination of shaft and driver just getting it launching is unreal, but hey, listen, I'm not, I'm not arguing. <laughs> I'll take it. However, ball is on a downslope. I've got to hit a flop, sh a flop, got to hit a flop shot over an olive tree, downwind onto a downslope. Love it. These are the shots I live for. I relish. Sit. Sit down. Sit. I swear I got it just sped up at the end. I, 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 I literally couldn't have played that any better. Wow. I promise you, like from where that's pitched to where it's finished up, that's the length of the flop shot I just did. Did it break? So fast. It's just so fast. So that's a five. Well, four over par, that gives me two shots to play with. Three shots to play with on the back nine. I might be five over, yeah. or five over. I just bogey the last two. Oh, yeah, double with them Three, four, five. Two shots to play with on the back nine. But everybody knows the back nine is where I come alive. That's where the birdies happen. Yeah. So I think, I'm thinking it's six iron here. Basically starting it at that rock on the left, because this wind is going to be really strong when it gets up there, we're already elevated. This ball's probably going to be about 200 foot in the air at its peak. Oh man, I tell you, how good would a hole in one look here, by the way? Amazing. This is the place to get it. This is the place to get it. Um, I'm changing my ball this back nine, by the way. Play the chrome sock so I can get the lines on the, on the green a bit better. It's obviously the, the, yeah, you know, everyone knows. Ball's fault. Right, at that rock, and it will come in, it will. Come in, six iron, come on. Nice solid one, nothing crazy. Come on, wind, come on, come on, wind. What a really good layup. It's, it's just, so, it's course it's just so hard. <laughs> I could hit like a chip short of the green and let it run on, but the grain's into again this way. So do I just try and clip it with soft hands, land it on the front of that green? And say release. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Made my mind up. It's happening. <laughs> Such a bad push. I was looking at the hole before it even hit that then. Like that, I got, got a bit of. A bit of hip turn on that. I can line up my ball now, so that's the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a bit <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Right, well, we've got one, a single shot to play with now for the rest of the back nine. I would absolutely love to say it gets easier. It really, really doesn't. It gets harder. Like, we are now going into what I class these last eight holes as the valleys of death. And you think I might be dramatic, but I'm really not. 600, well, yeah, 600 yards um, into wind, out of bounds left, out of bounds right. Well, water left, water right, has a dog leg to the left and a dog leg to the right. Some would call it a double dog leg. I'm not, I'm not careful, this could be a massive number, this. But you gotta believe, you gotta believe, Pete. All right, left side of that fairway, it'll cut back. Cut hard. 
It's in, just on the edge of him. It was kind of, it's kind of on the edge of him, but I didn't. Let's go have a look. Woohoo! Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, good news or bad news? A little, fair, a little fairway finder. Good news. Uh, bad news is I have no more truffle tracks left. That was a one and out situation. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you know. Oh, man. Three birdies in a row to get back to level, and then that. So this is like a massive dog leg to the right-hand side. It's kind of a three wood just over these rocks. Just leave myself a wedge in. I'm still about 620 yards away. Oh, we knit it that way. Yeah, that's fine. Left side, but it's all right. Open it up. Right, we need to talk. Guys, come in. This is reminiscent of uh, the Wentworth experience that we had. The product? Yeah. I'm making it very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty crap. <laughs> well, if I double this, I'm going to need one birdie yeah, to break exactly, 80. Or yeah. well, you guys aren't eating tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th this is why I need the positive reinforcement. Like, your bellies are basically riding on this now. <laughs> 180 left in. Is this for my par? One, two, three, four, five. This for the par. This will be a great par, in all fairness. Four iron, left of the green, let it cut back with that wind. Right, it's time to just hit some golf shots. That's a golf shot. Prepare yourself, this is going to be the best bogey of today. I'm not saying some. I've <laughs> had some good bogeys today, but this will be the best. Wow. Right, that's it. Well, we've got it now, guys. Just going to relax, play a game of natural golf. Hey, bit of natural golf, eh? Bit of natural golf. Go on. So we're 220 downhill, but it's playing like 210, and I've got a 7 iron. Is that, there's not a par three under oh, 600 yep. yards. Yeah, I know. They're literally all about 310. 310. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, big, powerful 7 iron. Okay. Oh my God. That'll do. That'll do. Great shot. Go on. Go. <laughs> hey. That's a fun. You're going to have to miss it. Everyone, everyone, calm down. The crowd falls silent. Absolute display. Oh. Come on! It's like my life basically complete. Got a feeling in my swing, you know, feeling good. Goal, this is. Oh, be good. Please be good. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's right over the pit. Hey, listen, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. 
It's got to be one of signature rolls. Surely, look at this. It's absolutely bonkers. So 285 to cap cover the kind of middle bunk you can see, and it's 350 to the back wall. It's just that, that, and like, smack it. Don't top it and don't hook it. Yeah. You just don't, you just don't want to have a case of the tops on here. Like that, that's, that's what you don't want. Don't want a Ricky Shields three wood on here, do you? <sighs> Come on, get that body moving. Got to move it, move it. Got to move it, move it. Got to move it, move it. Got to. Should be fine, just a bit cutty. Yeah. Now, like downwind, 180. Like a launch daytime? What do you think? Eight? How far is it? 180. 180 playing. Why not? I mean, I've got an amazing short game, so I'll be able to get up and down. I think I can land it just on to the right and let it go. Kieran seems to think I need to land it short of the green. We'll see who's right in this next episode of Do We Trust Kieran? <laughs> Listen, I ain't gonna lie. That is so far away from the shot that I was trying to do. Yeah, but the ball like, hit the like button if uh, you can relate to this. The ball today seems to have a mind of its own. <laughs> it's not doing what I want it to. Huge breaker, left to right, up the slope. Turn, turn, turn! Boom, oh, there we go! <laughs> half happiness, half just like pure, pure relief. I'm just like on relief right now. <laughs> Thank you. Can you get your chicken soup? Yeah. Get your chicken soup. Caddy Mass has just dropped off some Spanish chicken soup. Is it this is a review? Soup review. Oh! <laughs> bloody lovely that. that. Bloody lovely that. Oh, that's bloody nice that. Lemon, chicken, herbs, everything. Beautiful. <laughs> that's an 8.2 on the soup rating. Get another nine in there, couldn't you? Right there. You can see it, flood lip. Three seventy meters. Kind of over the hill. The line is basically over that right bunker there. It's like a dog leg to the right. Just got to bash it. It's a birdie chance if you get the drive away. Loads of room to the right as well to bail out. My kind of hole. Go on, travel, 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 travel. Be fine. That's basically going to be on the like side of the seventeen. It's not ideal. Well, I want to be in the fairway, but it'll be fine. 88 yards, which I think is just a nice, it's just a nice lob wedge from here. Yeah, nice fly. Uh, I'm thinking under here, then through there. That's 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 what I'm thinking. Um, so 80 odd yards, got to get under that little branch, a little bit of draw, just aim for the right side of the green. Oh, I'm, I'm literally thinking of like going here, so it doesn't really matter too much, but just a touch of draw, just try and get it racing. Mind you, that is sat, I don't even know how that's sat. It's one of those which is buried down, but sat up. It's all right. It's just quite hard to, on this grass, it's just quite hard to get it like shooted and running. Like these courses are designed to be. Well, it's not a leaf course. It's not. Oh. Breaking news <laughs> coming in from Spain. This is not a Lynx course. <laughs> Time for a chip in. You think? Love it. Oh, it's just broke. Wow. Sit down, sit. Absolutely baffling. Right, this is a left to right again. This is similar to the last green. But we have two amazing saves in a row. Way too hard. And two left. I will take the near eagle and I will give it back to the golf course. Now, the last two holes, we've got a shortish par three, which is very dependent on where the pin is. It doesn't look overly friendly. And then the last again is like a 600 yard par five, up the hill, into the wind, right to left, out of bounds left, out of bounds right. Holes I've fared well with today. So we'll see. Guys, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make you go hungry. I'm gonna dig in. We want some ramen. 
175. We've got a six iron, I'm into wind. Here, a little low one, like you said, Kieran, at that peak. Just let it fall to the right. Pressure's on now. Go on. Be the number. Go. Stay. I've never wanted a nice solid two put more in my entire life. Just an easy one. Just up the hill and it's just gonna slide to the right. Slide to the right. <laughs> Crisscross. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> slide to the left, slide to the right. Oh, that's a bit Do it for me. Go, 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 go. It's just got, look at it. No, but the heart attack this course. That almost, that almost, it's almost went in. It's went there, here, see ya. No pressure. What just happened then? It was coming back. Uh, See, it's all, listen, it's all down the last. It's all down the last. It's birdie or it's bust. I just don't quite understand. I just don't understand what's happened here. Right. Last little birdie needed. Simple as that. And I mean, that's good. It means. I just, just hit it, just attack, just go for it. Aiming at the cloudy mountain of mist and then just letting it drift around to the right. It's so much room there. Just got to smack it. It's probably my best drive of the day. Did exactly what I wanted it to. Yeah, yeah, just, again, it's just like stop, just hit it. Just hit it, thinking so much about it. Set the seam. 2023 grandstands up around final hole of the Solheim Cup. Emily Pedersen's coming down here, anchor group, just like, come on, Pedersen. Uh, 250? 250. Yeah, basically. It's kind of into wind. That was a that was a really good drive, actually. Just hugged like the ground, got out the wind, but this is now off the left and into. It's either an unbelievably struck three wood or a mini driver. Oh. A fady driver. 248 into. Got to go to birdie. Nothing else matters. It's just a nice one. I don't need to smash this. So I'm starting it at the, at the left, left bunker and just letting it drift. Come on, team. Go get some sushi. Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh! 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 It's not bad. Again, driver off the deck. Why is that my best shot? I don't. Why is that my best shot? I can't hit a chip. Sorry, Maura, you didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. How are we looking? Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? This is not the easiest of shots. I, it, I can't really, if I try to chip it into the bank and it's quite, um, like the grass is quite grainy again. So I'd have to like ram it in there. I, I mean, literally a flop's like probably the only option really. Um, So, so good. Wow. Well, here we go. It all comes down to this, as they say. That's probably, I think I've just strung together my three best shots of the round. So that is something to be happy about. This is downhill inside. It's that right center, basically. Come on. This for some sashimi. <laughs> And to break 80 around this course, my God, all right. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that just that feels well done. Well done. Like an absolute ordeal. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, what a golf course for a start. I, I don't think I've ever played anywhere quite like that with all the hills and the valleys. It's just stunning. It's, it's going to be. Tough, it? It's so tough, man. That is just going to be. A, if you play it, don't play off the back. <laughs> it, it's going to be one hell of a Solheim Club, that's for sure. Shall we go get some sushi? Mm -hmm. Let's go get some sushi.